Hey guys, so welcome back. Now, in this lecture, we are going to learn about some secret stuffs of Canva. Not so secret, but uh, very few people know about. So previously, if you used to search for photo editing option using Canva, then Canva used to open something like this, which was canva.com photo editor and app. So you can see here, this page is going to shut down real soon. So better than that is some alternative what I'm going to say after this. But this had some great stops. You could upload your photos. For example, let me upload one. So you can see it's uploading. So it's uploaded. So it's, it uploads pretty fast. So it shows here, try Canva is free, but you can go inside the Canva of its own. So let's see, it used to give some basic features like, you know, uh, brightness, contrast, and saturation, all those stuffs. And you could apply some layers above it, like a filter. So you can see there are filter options as well. So let's keep it back to normal now. You could do some cropping, basic of the cropping. You could add some text in it. You could have some collage created in it and definitely some shapes and elements inside of this. So this was earlier and definitely you could save it later and it becomes, it comes to your download option. So download your photo by yourself also is there. If you click on this download your photo by itself, then it would open the download one. So this was one of those earlier ways. So let's leave it for now. Now what Canva does is, so let's leave it now. What Canva does is you can create a design and you can find the, the photo editor option right at here. So let's click on it and let's open the same image and you will see it's loading and now you can either edit in photo edit this photo or use in design so let's actually edit a photo using this canva so inside the canva now you can see while well, this is being loaded you will see this just gives you a photo editing options so definitely all those canva essential elements are here and while this icon you can see here this means the photo is uploading so our upload is almost done but although you can see the photo is actually here right already. So there is this thing now you can simply you use your edit enemies and I've shown this probably earlier in your course. So there is this all of these things you can do crops and you can do flips. You can do all these flipping things as well. You can animate this as per your effect. How do you want to see this when if you are using a presentation sort of or you can simply do none and rest to that you can you see you can apply some elements above it definitely others all those things that are available here you can definitely play along from here you can add text add your styles and add your background and everything like that so that's all about editing your photo and once it's done you can click on this download this download is pretty powerful it will give you a png or pdf or svg option if you are using for vector purpose your video if you have animation in them or a gif so you can choose one of these and i would normally prefer using your png or the default what it gives if you prefer to increase the quality you can definitely do you can see it increases the quality as well but camera is powerful powerful to like give you high resolution quality i would recommend not to lower this definitely but keep it in your original size or greater if you only want to do some specific task if you are working for social media purpose then keep it on your original or one and right here you can have some transparent background so currently my background is not transparent so i need to worry about that you can compress your file for but the quality gets reduced but however the file size is less now and you can save this download settings as well and ultimately last you can just to download and once it's done it will show an advertisement as well as a uh, download one so you can see at this bottom it is downloading so definitely while this is downloading you can see this open the download this download that advertisement and now it will give you this download but you can see while saving the file, it gives me untitled design.png. 
it's because we haven't given this file a uh, name so you can give this file a name using here where you can see earlier it was simply on title design and your design resolution so you can give this a new name or so this is my photo so i haven't used any other stock photos so here i have given this a name now again i try to download it on the basic setting now you can see it has now barn design name the one which i give it right at the top and now once it's downloaded you can see it is being downloading and now it will open an advertisement as well as the download pop-up so here is a download pop-up and now you will see the barn design.png so you can just rename the file in this way and then you can definitely save it so that will be all for this lecture now i'll see you on the next one